back to the vlog. I am kicking it off on a Sunday, fresh new vlog, because we are about just under a week out from the big day, our wedding day here in Hong Kong. So excited. So our wedding is next weekend and we have a lot of pre-wedding festivities coming up between like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have a lot of out of town guests that are coming as well, like lots of friends and family members from around the world. So it will be a lot of celebrating, but so exciting because my brother and his fiance just landed in Hong Kong this morning and then Nick is landing in oh my god I think four hours so I am heading out soon to, to go have breakfast with my friend and I'm gonna make my way to the airport to go pick him up so things are happening so soon and so fast I've already been here in Hong Kong for two weeks myself just doing fittings meetings all of that good stuff but yeah the fact that like my brother is here and Nick is on his way and then we have all of our out-of-town guests coming okay but first I wanted to show you all because I'm starting to put together like a day of like survival kit basically like a bunch of emergency items that I might need or like my bridesmaids might need but basically first things first is my travel size mirror I have a ton of wet wipes as well I have these little tissue ah I have these little tissue boxes or tissue packs look at how cute they are I think these are for Easter okay and then I got this I got a foot numbing spray I've never used this before but I heard that it's really good especially if you're wearing heels all day it could help a lot let me know if you've ever used this i've never used it um and i don't know if i need to but just in case and then i got a huge pack of band-aids because you know blisters whatever just in case accidents might happen and yeah it's good to have that and then i have a few shout wipes for any stains i have eye drops as well and then i'm bringing my pill box um this is what i always bring on the plane but i just fill it up a little bit more with like just like a few more advil just in case of you know people need it if, if anyone gets a headache throughout the day i have this wrinkle release spray i have these makeup remover wipes as well and then of course we're in hong kong so it's super humid so I am bringing some oil blotting paper and then just extra razors just in case if anybody needs it, you never know. And yeah, those are like the main things that I have already gotten. I have a few more items that I also need to get as well. Like I think I'm gonna get some granola bars. Um, I'm probably gonna get some mints as well. Just like things that I feel like I can foresee people needing or even like myself needing. And then I'm probably gonna put most of it in this big toiletries bag as well. How cute is this though? I think I showed this uh, in my airplane bag video, but it has my initials on it. And I just thought this was so pretty. I got this on Etsy, so I'll link it down below as well, but so pretty. All right, let's get ready to head out. We're gonna go get brunch with my friend from high school, who's also my bridesmaid. And then we're gonna go to the airport. Okay, so we skipped all the way ahead to Wednesday and Nick is here, but we are currently at a coffee shop and we are taking this time to just fully relax because we have a lot of friends who are flying in today and our very first pre-wedding event starts tonight and it's going to be at the horse races. We're just taking this time now to just relax, just the two of us before everyone starts arriving and all the festivities begin. And we're just soaking it all in, just the two of us and just really taking this time to relax. But I'm actually going to take this time to also just write my vows as well. Nick already wrote his, I'm a little late. So yeah, let me go do that and I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm not gonna lie, I've been running around the city all day. But basically this afternoon after coffee, we went to go see two of my bridesmaids who landed in Hong Kong from New York. And we went to go to their hotel to go say hi, to drop off their welcome gift bag and their little bridesmaid gift as well. And then we came back and now we are getting ready because we have our very first pre-wedding event of the week. We have the horse races tonight here in Happy Valley and 
It's just really, really exciting because we have a bunch of people who landed in Hong Kong today and I'm gonna see everyone tonight. I'm also, I also invited a few of my friends from Hong Kong to come join us too. And then tomorrow we have another event that is happening at nighttime and we have even more people coming because a lot, because a whole chunk of people are landing tomorrow as well. And so yeah, it's just every single day leading up to the event, there's just more and more new people landing here in Hong Kong. So it's really exciting and yeah i gotta get ready for the horse races now i need to figure out what to wear i just did my makeup it's just my simple like go-to makeup that i do myself but anyways let's go get dressed and yeah okay so this is the outfit that i ended up wearing so it's really casual but i still wanted to you know add a little something bridal so this top i got from mesh key and then i have just my ripped blue jeans on because again i just want to keep it really casual and then i have my zara heels on and and then my vintage bag from Celine. I have these earrings, these are clip-on actually. These are from my mom. And then yeah, everything else is just my like everyday jewelry. Just definitely a very, very casual night tonight. But still, again, just wanted to wear something white, obviously. Hello, it is the next day. Today is a Thursday and tonight we have a tram party for all of our out-of-town guests and it is so exciting. It's my first time ever doing a tram party. I've never done it before so it's gonna be new for me too. We have a lot more people who landed late last night and early this morning who I will be seeing for the first time in a, in a while tonight and in Hong Kong too. So so excited to reunite with everybody and I just I know it's gonna be such a good night last night at horse racing though that was so incredible like I had my friends from all walks of life I had my family members there too and it was just so sweet for just seeing everyone meeting each other for the first time and just seeing my world colliding so that was really crazy but tonight is going to be something similar as well tonight is gonna be friends and all of my cousins only so it's gonna be another good night and so let's go head over there
We are one day before the wedding. Like, I cannot believe it is happening like in less than 24 hours. But we just checked in to the Four Seasons, which is where our wedding is going to take place. And part of the package includes a suite for the couple. And we just checked in and we got an upgrade to an even larger suite. I kid you not, this is even better than the suite that we got when we were staying at Four Seasons Macau. Like I, I am in awe right now. I need to show you all what this hotel looks like. Okay, so this is the view from the front door and you walk in and there's a little washroom in there there's closets in there for people's shoes and then right over here is the main event i mean this is massive we have a dining table we have this gorgeous artwork here very four seasons this huge living area like look at this couch the amount of people that can fit on this couch and then this is one of my favorite parts, a gorgeous wet bar. And they even gifted us a highball cocktail set from Argo, which is the bar downstairs. I love Argo. I went a few times and I'm really excited about this. So definitely gonna make that. And then in here is the kitchen, you know, just when you didn't think that it would get any bigger. We have a private kitchen here with like a coffee machine, all of that. And it also goes all the way, oh, I don't even know what's back here. Oh, I guess it's a back door. Okay, moving on. And then, oh my God, the view. The view is stunning. I mean, you can see all of Kowloon here, like Chim Sa Choi. You can see the ICC tower over there. It's a little gloomy today, but that's all right. That's all right. And then, yeah, you can see like Chim Sa Choi over there. Here's another angle of the room. And then moving on, we have the bedroom, which is right in here. You can see Nick is relaxing, probably doing the foot machine. <laughs> and then we have a cute little nook here. And then also, this is so nice of them for including a steamer, like they know. Then here we have the closet. Oh my God, I love a walk-in closet. They have, of course, all the hangers because we need all of them. And then we have the bathroom. Oh my God, I can't. Like, this is so crazy. Look at this tub. I am just like, I am in awe right now. I, I love the Four Seasons. <laughs> I honestly think I'm just gonna be like staying at the Four Seasons everywhere I go. Okay, so again, going back out here, wow. I feel like you all need to just like experience this with me because my jaw dropped when I walked in. So now I think we're just going to relax for a little bit, get ready because we have a welcome party tonight at Soho House for all of our out of town guests. I know we've been having a lot of like pre-wedding activities the night before, like last night and the night before, but tonight is like the official welcome party that my parents are hosting. And then tomorrow is the big day and I can't, I'd like, oh yeah, I'm just so in shock right now. I, I just need to like digest everything. Yeah, this, just like taking this moment in together. My gosh, look at what they brought up for us. We have champagne, fresh strawberries. We have honey, fig, lemonade. We are so spoiled. Okay, so apparently this is like a whole drink set. So we are putting honey into the glasses and then figs, right? We have mm -hmm. like a whole... Elevate the beverage with a drizzle of raw honey and the succulent sweetness of fresh figs. As you savor each sip, tantalize your palate with the symphony flavors of assorted toasted nuts. 
toasted nuts. Okay, let's do it. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I don't really know exactly how to use this, but. <laughs> and then a fig. A lemonade. I can't wait to try this. Wow. Oh my God, that's so good. It's actually so, so good. I feel like I should add another fig in here though. I love it. Future Gabby here. I'm actually editing this vlog right now and I realized that I never filmed an outro for this video. I realized that because right after the welcome to Hong Kong party, I went straight home and went straight to bed because I had to wake up at 5.30 a.m. the next day and quite frankly, I just completely like I was in Disturbia. I like completely forgot to film an outro. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video because editing this video and going through all the clips, it just brought back so many memories for me. And it was just such a special like few days leading up to the wedding because it was just all of our worlds colliding, like both of our friends from all walks of life, my cousins from Vancouver, everyone just all meeting. And it was so beautiful because, you know, we got to see new friendships form and just people really bonding together, following each other on Instagram, just all, everything in between. And it was just so wholesome and really, really sweet to witness. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. The next vlog will be all about the wedding day, which is also really exciting. I have yet to go over all of those clips um, in my vlogging camera, but I just want to take this moment to just shout out my future sister-in-law, Taya. She has been a rock star just gathering all the content on my vlogging camera. Like all the clips that you see is all taken by her. I gave her my vlogging camera and my phone like all three days and on the wedding day too. And I told her literally just do your thing, just capture all the content, all of that. And just going through all the clips and going through the editing process right now, Taya, if you're watching this, you are amazing. And 
you killed it. Like this, it is incredible. So I just want to give a big shout out to her. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean so much to me if you would hit the like button and subscribe because there's more wedding content coming up soon. And I hope to see you all in the next video. So see you all there.